Today I want to talk about my favorite cinematography tool that's actually not a piece of camera equipment at all, and that's Frameset. There's two different ways I use Frameset, and I'm going to get into both of them. The first way I use Frameset is to practice cinematography in my house. And personally, I think it's better to pick one scene and just try to make that scene look as best as you can versus just trying to get a bunch of random shots and creating a montage video that you could send to your friends. Um, plus a benefit is if you get one really good scene, you could always add it to your reel. What I'll do is I will log on and I will try to find something that I can shoot in my house, uh, utilizing my kitchen, my bedroom, office space, or sometimes even just a blank wall. The second way I like to use Frameset is to find inspiration for upcoming shoots. So the example that I'm gonna use here is I had a shoot coming up where I had to create a video for a clothing line and the color scheme was based around ice cream. So we decided to rent out a diner in order to get that old school ice cream parlor theme. So I went on to Frameset and I typed in old school diner. And then this is my favorite feature is they have a similar search button. So you can just click similar search and then it auto populates a bunch of images. And then once you find ones that you like, you can build um, a set and you can actually share that set with people. This is the image that I landed on. And honestly, it's probably one of my favorite shots that I've got to date. I was tempted. That's all I have to say about Frameset. It has been a huge help for me. And if you want to check it out, there is a link in my description. And if you end up finding something that inspires you to create a shot, please send it to me. I'd love to see it.